In this video, we are going to cover launching Tax Manager, searching for clients within Tax Manager, the key data sets available within Tax Manager, how to create a return, and how to use the integrity check. Tax Manager can be launched from the central applications list by double clicking the Tax Manager link in the Tax Management section. This will launch Tax Manager showing the client you last worked on in Tax. Alternatively, Tax Manager can be launched from the central console. After locating a client, select the Matters page, right click on a Tax Launch Matter and select Launch Associated Application. This will launch Tax Manager for the currently selected client. Tax Manager console is laid out and functions in much the same way as Central Console. A ribbon toolbar across the top of the screen, a navigator down the left hand side, and the central work area listing returns and their attributes. A search bar at the top of the screen allows for direct searching of individual client records. The default setting in Tax Manager is to show one client at a time. You can use the search box to locate clients by sort name the same way as in Central Console. This navigation can be time consuming when working on large groups. Navigation, the group by box, allows you to see all clients for a particular family group at the same time and easily navigate between members. To permanently set Tax Manager to use Family Group View, change the default setting on the User Settings page under the View menu. The key data sets common to all return types are return defaults, return attributes, and return details. Return defaults holds the default data that will flow into the front cover of the return from Central Console, such as name, address, and TFN. Return attributes are the details about the current return. On this page, you'll find the ATO due date for the return, as well as a hold date to prevent the return from being lodged until ready. Return Details provides a read-only summary of the key labels within the return. To add a return, click the Add button at the top of the screen. Confirm the client and matter are correct. Select the return type and period in the case of an activity statement. And check that the Reckon APS tax box is ticked. Click Add to finish adding the return to the database. Tax Manager has been designed to draw data from Central Console into the tax return. However, this is a one-way flow, and any data changed in the return, such as address and TFN, does not flow back to Central Console. The Return Integrity Check is a quick way to locate discrepancies between the tax return and the Central Console. To launch the Integrity Check, select the Return, and then select Integrity Check from the Action menu on the Return Defaults page. The Integrity Check screen shows two columns of data the central console data on the left, and the tax return data on the right. Discrepancies are highlighted in blue. Right-click the screen and select Hide Matching Data to show only the discrepancies. To update the return with the correct PM data, tick the boxes on the right and click OK. This will open the form and update the chosen labels. The integrity check can be set to automatically run any time a return is opened. 